Warning! The following gameplay video was created by a scrub. If scrub gameplay disturbs you, stop the video now. Oh, we got two of them. Yeah, the one time I checked the enemy for recon was the one where it wasn't important to do so. Uh, that's that's a habit that I really need to pick up. Well, I do still have plenty of maxes left. And I would use a... I would most likely use quick move twice either way. Now, I do think that straight punch, which is a more or less guaranteed weapon break, is in theory a very nice skill to have because weapon break is really crippling. However, um, the problem is that it's competing for space with quick move. And I definitely don't want to run out of quick move. Plus they got supplies, so I'm fairly sure they have repair for the next battle. But mostly it's the competition with quick move thing. Alright, you're just about ready to take on another enemy. So, um... I didn't check their skills that closely, but... Oh! I just realized. So, Jen will have to move forward, too, and deal with one of these. John can't quite make it. story of his life, I'd say. So, um, Jem can also attack on a diagonal if he has to, but I'd prefer that he didn't. And his matchup is better against this guy, so I'm gonna have Ryoko move forward face to face. Alright. Do I want to use ink trap on these guys? I'm gonna say no, because even if I do get hit by E-Wire, I'll probably have to recover after this fight anyway. And, well... Uh, I, I prefer to have the rapid-fire co-op thing up front. Also, Illumination Shot is nice. Though I'll have to use that sparingly. I think for a matchup like this, it's worth it. Especially since I can just keep moving smoothly, I think. Hmm. That's actually a tough call. I might be able to wipe those guys out in one volley if I hit them with rapid fire, co op, and a normal shot. But I don't actually have to wipe them out in one volley, so I'm just gonna go with the more reliable thing. Right, we're at the perfect distance for that. Okay, never mind. It looks like these guys have amazing armor too.
Alright, as long as I hit medium before that e-wire goes off, like that, I'll be good to go. Also, it turns out that it would not have wiped them out in one volley, so... There we go. They're, they probably have one health left. Disappointing. Oh. Man, that delayed me by a lot. Did it even go to my aiming screen before that happened? Oh, oh, I see what your what your game is. Well, I can't take too long aiming this, because I need to move my guys forward the very second I can. Up he fires quick, though. I really need him to move his guys forward. Ooh, critical is right, though. And that's after... Okay, there we go. We'll probably be able to wipe them out that way. Alright, so how is Ryoko going to survive after this? I don't think I've ever seen a normal enemy deal quite that much damage to her in uh, one encounter. So, actually she moves before either of them does, so things are okay. Actually I wonder if removing their uh, supply squad delayed their turn. That'd be pretty interesting. But it probably doesn't handle the calculations like that. Also, I probably should have checked when she'd be able to move again after she attacked. Because if this one move if this one moved sooner, I'd be in a huge amount of trouble. But they don't, so I'm not, thankfully. Right. So I definitely need to finish these guys off. And do I actually want uh, Weisegger to move uh, up here? I'm, I'm guessing no. Now there's a chance that this guy will try to move up and punch Kinsado, but I think he's equipped to handle that. I think in this case I will have to fire off a heat shell before I uh, move in and punch this guy. That's fine. That That's why they're here. I'm gonna take a snipe, of course. But that alone is probably not going to be catastrophic, even if it's a 40 damage snipe. To try and deal with their squads at all.
But if uh, I had succeeded with that, I wouldn't have needed to use the heat shell, which I admit is not a big deal. I probably w also wouldn't have taken the snipe. I definitely wouldn't have also taken the snipe. But, you know, backup strats. Whew, that's gonna take at least three recoveries. Fortunately, she can do that where she is. Whew, wow. Now, I don't want to punch this one just yet. Jun needs to get in there. I would love to punch this guy, but I can't reach him yet. They do not... The AFWs do not yet walk on water. How about you? You will be in range to attack, except Jun moves first. He'll probably do a better job. Actually, that's not fair. But still. It would have been really nice if uh, I could have Jun attack this one instead of Ryoko, but what can you do? Does he need to recover? Kinda. Probably best to just have him move here in that case. No, wait, no. John needs to be there. Yeah, details. Yeah. It will definitely help if you can get rid of this guy. Long distance is no problem because they're medium too and they're likely to just move forward on their own. Still I might as well do at least a little bit of that on my own. Well, that wasn't amazing damage, but we already know what kind of drop-off they get. And I actually will have to move forward because they're going to be knocked back quite a bit by my shells and rockets and stuff. That'll do, though. Ooh, wait. I sincerely hope that I will not have to use uh, accurate fire here, because that would be embarrassing. There, much better damage. Yep. Got done in by a rocket. Well, Weisegger could do that sort of thing even before he got the upgrade, but I, I think he he definitely does a better job of it now than before. Oh, well, a bunch more guys appeared over here, didn't they? Looks like John will have his turn after all. And so will John. Hmm. So Ryoko will definitely need to recover in place. And I'll have to play very carefully with her. John might need to finish this guy off after 
Jun removes their squads. Fortunately, Jun can handle that sort of thing too. I'll also need to sort of create some space for Ipe to move forward. Let's check the turns. Ooh, he's pretty far back. But I don't think the guys who just showed up will move before he does. Actually, he did recover, though, so it's tough to say. He might actually be out of this fight, which would be bad news for me. Well, where can he move from here? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, I need to have Ryoko move back and recover. Well, maybe I'll know more about the turns at that point. I gotta deal with this guy, though. So, I really hope that he doesn't load his incendiary. That could be bad. Right, that, that I can deal with. Jun is going to get hit a couple of times, of course. And he's going to be put in a pretty difficult position. Actually, should I aim weapon these guys? That seems like a good idea. I'll wait for the illumination shot and then throw out that aim weapon. Because after all, that's why he's got it. Now that's the kind of co-op that I like to see. And I guess that's the kind of illumination shot that I like to see. That looks like a really tough angle for a shot. But apparently I was wrong. Okay. I think that unloaded them too. Sure did. So they, I'm fairly sure they put down a mine, so I gotta be careful about how close I get to them. Okay. I can do that too. I'm fairly sure I won't be able to well, maybe I will be able to remove both of them. It's tough to say exactly. But I definitely don't like wasting my bullets on uh, their AFW. That was a normal shot, and he fired... well, actually, how long was he aiming? I'll have to check in the video.
Actually, this could work out. Yeah, it did work out. Very nice. But yeah, I'm very suspicious of their being able to hit that shot with a broken weapon. And at very close range. Well, I guess they didn't hit that one, though. Right. So how hard will they be able to hit him? So one of these two will be able to attack. Um, yeah, John will definitely have to finish this guy off, but that's well within his capabilities. And with that, uh, Ipe might be able to move forward when it's his turn. So this guy definitely moves first, and this guy will probably move first. So it's going to be very tricky. I'll probably have to lean on the uh, dodge action to deal with this stuff. Man, it would have been really different if that normal shot hadn't hit him. But I guess I, I gotta just deal with it. So what's Kinsado gonna do? I guess he can just recover. Every little bit, and he doesn't need to go anywhere right now. So, actually, which one should he finish off? Actually, if I sh could, should finish off this one. And the reason is... Hmm. Oh, jeez. Right, so Ryoko will need to move and recover. Like, she'll need to take the place of whoever got knocked off. 